The vast universe of the internet, one enigma, has captivated the minds of many. The identity of Satoshi Nakamoto, the elusive creator of Bitcoin. Amid the myriad of theories and speculations, numerous individuals have stepped forward, claiming to be the face behind the pseudonym. Today, we delve into the intriguing profiles of these claimants, their assertions, and the evidence they present. First, we turn our attention to Craig Wright, an Australian computer scientist and businessman. Wright has been one of the most vocal claimants to the Nakamoto identity. He first made this claim in 2016, stating he had direct involvement in the creation of Bitcoin. As evidence, Wright presented cryptographic keys linked to the same blocks of Bitcoin Nakamoto is known to have mined. However, his claims have been met with skepticism, as many experts argue that his proofs are easily fabricated. In March of 2024, a UK court ruled that Australian computer scientist Craig Wright is not Satoshi Nakamoto. As we delve deeper into the mystery of Satoshi Nakamoto, we come across another significant figure in the Bitcoin, Gavin Andresen. A software developer by profession, Andresen was chosen by Nakamoto himself to inherit the project when he decided to step back from the limelight. Andresen's involvement in Bitcoin's development and his communication with Nakamoto before the latter's disappearance have been well documented. Interestingly, he has publicly asserted his belief that Craig Wright is the real Nakamoto, even though many in the Bitcoin community remain skeptical. Despite his belief in Wright, Anderson's assertions have not been enough to sway the overall opinion, adding yet another layer to the enigma that is Satoshi Nakamoto. Next, we have Dorian Nakamoto, a Japanese-American man living in California. In 2014, a Newsweek article suggested that Dorian was the real Satoshi, based on his background in systems engineering and his libertarian views. However, Dorian has consistently denied these claims, stating he had never even heard of Bitcoin before the Newsweek article. Then there's Nick Zabo, a cryptographer and the creator of BitGold, a precursor to Bitcoin. Zabo's claim hinges on the similarities between his BitGold project and Bitcoin, as well as his extensive knowledge of cryptography and economics. However, Zabo has repeatedly denied being Nakamoto, despite the compelling circumstantial evidence. Lastly, we can't forget about Hal Finney, a preeminent developer for PGP Corporation and the second person to use the software after Nakamoto. Finney was the first to receive a Bitcoin transaction from Nakamoto, leading some to speculate that he was, in fact, Nakamoto. However, this theory remains unconfirmed as Finney passed away in 2014. Also, we venture into a realm populated with intriguing speculations in our search for the elusive Satoshi Nakamoto. We begin with a theory that Bitcoin could be the collective brainchild of some major tech players, Samsung, Toshiba, Nakamichi, and Motorola, with Satoshi Nakamoto serving as an ingenious mashup of their names. Another theory propounds that Bitcoin was conceived by the CIA or similar government institutions designed to be a next-gen currency to manipulate the global economic environment. And let's not overlook the theory that Bitcoin could be the creation of time voyages from the future aiming to alter the trajectory of history. Despite the fascination these theories evoke, they remain largely conjectural, devoid of any solid backing. Yet, they underscore the intense curiosity and fascination encompassing the identity of Satoshi Nakamoto. As we delve into these assertions and rebuttals, the true persona of Satoshi Nakamoto persists as one of the most enigmatic riddles of the internet. Unraveling this mystery seems to be a battle against time. For now, the enigma of Satoshi Nakamoto persists, remaining as elusive and bewitching as ever.